Today we're going to deworm the pups. Uh, deworming, for one, we know it's important. Be very clear saying not all not all times do dogs or pups even get worms. So some people believe in doing it, some people don't. We do it as a safe precaution, kind of like making sure that you know when we were, pu we, when we were pups, we got our little shots and that was uh, uh, kept us healthy. So I've told you before, pyrantal is normally the base of the majority of your dewormings or dewormers. I love using this. I found these off of Amazon. They go up, this one goes up to one mil. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see in this camera, but it literally has a 0 0.05 next to it, right? 0 0.08, 0 0.09. These Frenchies probably weigh about two pounds maybe. Two, three pounds. Let me be very clear to tell you this, check this out. One of the first Frenchie litters I, uh, I did, I forgot the measurements. And it was not one mil, at the top it said 10 mils man I gave one Frenchie 10 mils of uh, of, of, of pyrantal <laughs> and I was like oh snap of course I called Chris and Ruben and uh, they said no it's not really an overdose thing what it can do is cause a little upset stomach it's like if you took too much Pepto-Bismol, basically, or something else. So I can tell you from my own personal experience, which was not good, that even if you do too much, for the most part, the dogs will be fine and everyone's alive. So I'm about to give them a little dewormer, clip their nails in the process. Look at this one coming up. This one right here freaking out. Like, oh, I'm getting out of here, buddy. It ain't, it ain't nothing gonna hold me down. I don't know who's the most adventurous one of all these dogs, but I think it's the one who's supposed to die. <laughs> you know, literally, imagine if we had taken, not not taken, but the doctor, they're, they're doctors. So, long story short, all we would have had to say was, oh, really? Inverted pectus? You know what? Let's go ahead and put that one down. And they would have just put the dog down. But, uh, we'd rather the dog or pup choose to die on its own volition or give up. And I don't think these pups are going to give up. So, I'm going to give them, just to be safe, a good amount <laughs> but mind you technically they only need 0.2 or 0.3 but it ain't gonna kill them so in this case you could do a little bit more since you ready since you you bow they bow got that mouth closed don't you, you don't want to cooperate co yeah There you go. Now with the Frenchie as well, people, what you want to be do is, is definitely put it in the back of their jaw because uh, remember, they're already dogs that are, I mean, this right here is about as big as this from here to here goes. Now you know what it's like to get a noodle, noodles coming out of your nose or a piece of rice stuck in the back of your throat and come out of your nose. <sighs> this stuff gets stuck in their nose to say the least. Not stuck, but it could come in one hole right out the other. So I put it in the back of that back jaw to make sure that they get to swallow it and basically use what go gave them to ensure that they've used or taken the uh the pyrantula so it looks like it's wet oh, where they got their water from guys we're gonna talk more about the frenchies man this is a journey they're only on week five we've got three more good weeks and probably a little bit more than that we haven't pushed it i'm gonna contact the person that's on our waiting list Definitely start talking about potentially owning one of these Frenchies. One of them for sure is sold beyond reasonable doubt. Stay tuned. Take care of your dogs.